Hello everyone, Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Friday price action in New York really was a little bit disappointing given that the PC uh, inflation data was just 0.2% for the month, 4.1% for the year. That's a continued moderation and getting back to where to more more reasonable levels overall. And again, emphasizes the point that the Federal Reserve is indeed on hold for a long time. And that was the last rate hike for a very long, long time. And for all we know, rates could get cut eventually. But I'm not expecting that pivot, as I've been saying for well over 12 months now. Um, we saw nice price action in our oil view. That is to the upside and also in gold. Um, but equity markets really ended the day. They were on the upside, but still within that range of the last seven days or so. And in fact, the market only closed near the highs of seven trading days previously. So there's been virtually no upside from that triple header last week of tremendously positive historic news both with that last piece, the confirmation from the PC uh, price inflator. Uh, then we had Q2 GDP outperformed to the upside, actually accelerated. That won't last in Q3, but at least it looked good on the weekly uh, data read. Uh, and the big one was that Fed last rate hike. So despite all that, the market is only where it was seven days ago. Uh, and I think that's part of the reason we've seen a little bit of soft price action in the opening sort of session of Asia today. Uh, there's also been the Chinese data come out, Chinese manufacturing PMI confirming itself to be in contraction for the fourth straight month now. Uh, that's a serious downside risk. The China, it says the Chinese economy is continuing to slow, coming in at 49.3. The composite uh, index PMI was slightly uh, positive, but again, slowing quickly. So the Chinese economy actually hasn't finished slowing down. Uh, so we'll see what that sort of looks like going forward, but it's not quite the euphoric reason the Chinese reopening to continue buying shares. But just coming back to that US stock market action, it is suggesting the market is tired and may already be over leveraged long, but we can't be sure of that. And it's still in the range and it hasn't broken down yet. If we break last week's lows around that Thursday, Friday lows, if we break below there at any time this week, I would suggest that that is an incredibly warning bell, that something could be wrong with the underlying, if you like, positioning structure of the US equity market overall. So watch out for new lows in any of the major stocks or the major indices below what we saw mid last week. Uh, that would be very damaging to the bulls who at this point are holding on wondering why they haven't had more upside uh, in relation to their long positions, given the good news we had. So the market is a little bit vulnerable here, and I think that's the whole story for the outlook this week. Thanks very much. Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities.